Hello, my name's Kimberly Wooten, and today I'm speaking from the Humane Society right here in Greenville. And this Saturday, they'll be hosting their seventh annual A Night to Pause event. And all the proceeds from that event will be going to help animals just like this cat right here. So could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, I am. My name is Shelby Jolly. I am the shelter director here at the Humane Society of Eastern Carolina. Um, I have lived in North Carolina my whole life. I'm actually from Cresswell, North Carolina, um, and I moved here with my husband um, after he got out of the Marine Corps in 2015, and I started here September of 2015. So could you tell us a little bit about the Humane Society of Eastern North Carolina? Yeah, so we are a small nonprofit, so everything we do, taking care of the animals, medical, even the lights on, is all through donations. Um, we're not affiliated with any, like, government or national um, organizations. We are just our little selves trying to do the best we can. Um, we accept dogs and cats, um, and we do pull from shelters across eastern North Carolina, um, and we also recently have kind of evolved, and we've gone and done outreach, and um, on the 25th of this month, we actually saved 25 dogs um, in a situation that they should not have been in. Um, and so eventually they'll be up for adoptions, but we're kind of evolving. Uh, like I said, we used to, we do pull, uh, we occasionally take owner surrenders and now we're doing more outreach. Um, so we're evolving as our community needs us to. Cool. So could you tell us a little bit about the event, A Night to Pause? Yes, so on April 2nd, we have our Night to Pause event, and it's a gala, so people will dress up, they look nice, we have auction items, um, but the really important part of it, we have a fund to need. So this year, our fund to need um, will be a quarantine facility. So like I mentioned earlier, we're evolving, we're um, going out, doing more outreach and taking animals in um, in bad situations and stuff, and that has evolved to us needing more of a quarantine situation to protect the animals that are already in our care. Um Across the United States, there is an issue right now with people not keeping their animals vaccinated, um, which is spreading like parvo and like, unfortunately, distemper and all that stuff. So it's really important um, for us to be able to continue to help animals across Eastern NC that we do get a little quarantine area to actually be able to isolate new animals to prevent infection and all that stuff and just making sure that everyone stays healthy and stuff like that. So it's a big part of our night is to continue to be able to support the community going forward. Um, so the event is on April 2nd. It's at the Hilton. Um, you can purchase your tickets online. I do believe we have about 20 tickets left, so make sure you go online and order them. Um, but the event itself is from 6 to 10. If you're looking for other ways to support because you can't make it to a night to pause, um, you can donate through our website or if you want to come out and help, we do have volunteer options as well as fostering. We do supply everything for our fosters. If you're looking to adopt your new forever friend, you can visit our website, hsecarolina.org, and fill out an application. It's on our homepage. And then an adoption counselor will be in touch about setting up an appointment to meet your new family member. Thank you. So if someone wanted to donate, is there a way that they can? Absolutely. So you can always donate through our website, but specifically for the night, um, we have an um, BitPal, which is what the company we use for the or for our event. So um, on our Facebook page, there's a link to it as well as on our website. Um, right now, the auction is live, and I do believe you can donate through that now, or you can wait till the night of the event. Well, that's it from the Humane Society here in Greenville. Thank you so much.